Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to paint a huge canvas that's even bigger than mine and literally it's really really big and I'll show you where I found this board. Until then, I'll tell you the story of this painting. Is it okay if I'm the same? I'm catching feelings from all the dealings. So I have had this idea for a painting for a long time and it's a huge fantasy painting of a dragon and I'm a huge fan of dragons and I always draw it in my childhood and recently I draw a dragon in my college board for fun but that's when I made up my mind that I have to make this. So I picked up the absolute large plywood canvas that I could ever found in my area and hope that the size will help to convey this grand idea. So without further ado, let me just completely prime it because this surface is really rough. So let me do that and show you how it turned out to be. So we need a base layer for this painting so I'm using burnt sienna and just mapping out all the basic shapes of this painting and then wait for this layer to dry before proceeding with colors. So this first portion here in the beginning is done with acrylics and that's just purely preference for me. I enjoy the quick drying properties of acrylics and I like to be able to mix in just quickly if I have to, especially in the beginning and acrylics just kind of allow me to do that. First of all, I'm going to paint the dragon itself and the cool thing about uh, painting a fantasy character like this that it is pretty much has everything that you could ask for as an artist tons of details and interesting elements unusual colors basically the perfect recipe to create an epic painting uh, contrary to what one might think it's not the amount of detail you could add and to the painting and make something look real but it actually capturing all the different surface qualities now start the music <laughs> Here I'm beginning to think about smaller details and so I want to start with the highlights so I like to start to crimp and brighten up certain areas maybe dull down or even increase the saturation of some areas but the main focus at this point to get the highlights as bright they should be and get the shadows as dark as they should be all while trying to increase the amount of texture within the throughout the process. It's been a few days I have worked on this painting the whole week on and off and this handsome fellow uh, is looking pretty good and um, I'm really happy with that so far. It's almost finished but uh, it took me over 2 months to complete it and it's an oil painting so we need to let it dry for eternity so enjoy the reveal and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Oh wait! Subscribe though! Thank you.